vastly overlooked story here, the social security numbers of millions, if not billions of Americans are, have allegedly been hacked and no one's really talking about it. We found a few articles here and there and we brought in our cybersecurity expert, Mike Benz, to give us some details about what is actually happening, whether the hack had happened, why hackers may have dived in to go grab our, our social security numbers. And we sat down with him earlier. Here's that conversation. Take a listen. Mike, thank you for joining us. Um, this story has been circulating for well over a week, and I am stunned no more headlines have been rallied around it. And it's this, secret uh, social security numbers of billions, but they're counting billions, uh, of Americans have potentially been hacked into and leaked. This is coming out of the LA Times. It has subsequently been confirmed by the very company where the information was stored. Hackers are claiming that these stolen social security numbers are accounting for every American dead and alive. Mike, what's going on here? Why aren't we talking about this more on the media landscape? Well, it's a very strange story, which comes on the heels of several, several other sort of high profile hacking incidents. The threat actor that that media is reporting is the primary uh, suspect in the case is, is a hacker outfit oddly named USDOD, uh, which is kind of unsubtle. Uh, you know, that's obviously a trying to play on U.S. Department of Defense, uh, which obviously the NSA is sort of the great keeper in its prism matrix of all personal information and all identifiable personal and digital details of not just every American, but essentially every individual on planet Earth. And so obviously the hacker group naming itself after the DOD and taking files that one can imagine might, might really only be accru accrued either by a network of advertising agencies in the private sector or by the DOD itself is quite interesting. I also think it's, it's notable that this same group was said to be responsible for hacking uh, the FBI's InfraGuard database, so uh, and in doing sort of a similar operation in that regard, and so it's unclear whether or not this is an outside attack, whether there was a sort of insider threat, somebody working at DOD or FBI who may have been a disgruntled, you know, uh, a disgruntled employee type thing. You know, the, the the hacker world is filled with a lot of cowboys. I mean, it's it's a it's a world sure. of professional rule bre rule breakers who don't have to answer in person you know, for, for what they do. They are behind a computer screen. They may be overseas in a non-extradition uh, country. Uh, it's, it's quite you know, feasible that somebody who's able to hack both potentially the DOD and the FBI to get all these uh, sensitive personal details and then theoretically either sell them uh, to dark data vendors for a huge profit uh, or run identity theft rings along with it. You could see a sort of disgruntled hacker from the government uh, move to a foreign country right. afterwards and just take, you know, whatever known vulnerabilities they discovered from their time there and be out of reach of the U.S. Justice Department and simply, you know, exploit that for personal profit. Well, it affects literally every single person in America, and no one seems to be talking about it. You've got a handful of articles coming out LA Times was first to put out a big headline about it, but it's the biggest data breach breach in history of true, and no one seems to be talking about it. It seems like we'd at least have Congress people jumping in or having some kind of investigation launched on the official side, no? Well, it's a big shadow world. If you recall, it was only a week ago when the FBI and CISA from the DHS came out and said Iran had hacked you know, Trump's presidential campaign. You know, this is, uh, you know, right around the same time as this story broke. And they all came out and unanimously said it was I Iran. And the public said, how do you know it's Iran? They said, we can't. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.